So um, I just taught you the uh, formula for electron capacity a principal energy level can hold, okay? So what we're going to try is to figure out how many electrons each of these principal energy levels can hold um, by just identifying what their principal energy level number is, okay? So again, what is the electron capacity for a principal energy level? How do we figure it out? 2 n to the what? To squared, right? So that's the, we'll say, electron capacity. Is everybody okay with that? Wonderful. Even the people that didn't answer? Okay. Wonderful. So n, remember, that's the principal energy level. It'll always be written as n, okay? So, this n equals 1 would be 2, and we'll just plug and chug. 1 squared is what? 1, right? Mm -hmm. Times 2. So, the first energy level can hold 2 electrons. If we look at the periodic table, isn't that the case? Right? The first energy level can only hold 2 electrons. What about the second energy level? So that would be one, we'll say electron capacity for two is going to be again two n, but n this time is two, right? Squared, so what's two squared, guys? Four, Four times two? Eight. Eight. Is that how many you would have expected from looking at the periodic table? Yes. Yeah, it is, right? Okay. What about the electron capacity for three? So it's going to be 2, 3, squared, right? So what is that answer going to be there? 18. 18. Was that what you would expect from looking up there? Very good. And then the last one, electron ca uh, capacity for 4, 2 to the 4 squared. So it's 4 squared. 16 times 2. 32. So, two electrons for the first one, eight electrons for the second one, 18 for the third one. Okay? Any questions on this? Yeah. 